Here's five things that your university professors want you to know, but they probably won't tell you. Starting with the first one, read your course syllabus. Now you're probably gonna be given one on your first day of class and whether you decide to read it or not, no one cares. Not even your professor, nobody is gonna bother to ask if you read it or not. But if you're watching this right now, I'm gonna be real with you, read your course syllabus, read it. Now I know a syllabus looks scary and it takes a long time to get through, but it has so much information that is overlooked. They often include specific assignments, how you're going to be graded, what your professor is expecting from you, you know, how much like any assignment is worth or a test is worth and so forth. And like I said, nobody's going to check in on you to make sure you're doing things that you're supposed to. So it's completely up to you to stay on top of things. Now, the second point, most of you might have heard already, but for those of you that haven't, attend office hours as much as you can. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a great place to, you know, go ask questions, discuss class material, get to know your classmates and the professor a bit better. And even if you need help with homework, you'll be able to get it so much more easily than you would in like you know in a class setting number three ask questions now during many points in class you're going to get confused and even if you try and force your brain to understand what you're learning you're probably not going to get it because it won't work like that meaning you're going to have to ask someone for help and the best person in class is obviously your professor so don't hesitate to ask a question or be scared of what other people might think because a they really don't care they're busy in their own thing and b they probably have the same question so you know go ahead ask your question because that's literally what the professors are there for Number four, even though class gets hard and you start feeling lost like I do all the time, make sure you remember that, you know, it's okay to be confused and feel that way. Sometimes things can be difficult to understand, especially when you're in a situation that you've never been in before. But the good thing about this is that as long as you're focused on learning and moving forward, you're only going to see growth and progress from there on. And talking about progress brings me to my fifth point, which is that you matter and you're way more than your grades. Progress is a great thing, but sometimes everyone gets stuck somewhere where, you know, they just feel like they're not growing. This is really common in classes where, you know, your grades are low or just might be gradually improving. And as a student, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in overthinking that sometimes we start to see our own worth being defined by what we score in a test, which is not true. Now, I've personally felt this before, as I'm sure many of you guys watching have as well. But the thing that motivates me is to, you know, learn from my mistakes, apply that, and then just aim to do better in the future. If you like this video, you'll love this custom playlist that I made for you guys filled with custom tips and tricks that have helped a lot of students. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.